I'm Dr. Helene Fronick, and I'm here today with Kelly, who was kind enough to come in and talk to us about her vein issues and some of the difficulties that she's had deciding whether this was a problem with her veins and really who she should see to take care of these things. Hi, Kelly. Thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you. Um, can you tell me a little bit? I understand that, that a lot of these things started when you had your children. Is that right? Correct. I had um, permanent birth control uh, put in, coils put in my tubes because I was done having children. Okay. Uh, started having pelvic pain, um, progressively got worse. The OBGYN told me, okay, we're going to have to do a hysterectomy. Let's take those coils out, inc including your tubes. Okay. Um, when she was in there, said, you have uh, endometriosis and a varicose vein in there also. A varicose vein in your pelvis? Yes. And what did she recommend that you do about it? Nothing. 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 She never wants, she just said, oh, by the way, All or right. on the films that we looked at, mm -hmm. there's a huge bulging vein in there, and you have endometriosis, and, and we took everything out. And... All right, and so after you had your hysterectomy, were you better? Better for a while, and in the last few months, I started noticing pelvic pain again. In, but only on one side, where okay. before it was on both sides. So it was a little bit better, but then it seemed to start coming back again. Correct. And when would you notice that pain? It's constant. Uh, it's a constant ache. Sometimes it gets worse. Sometimes it gets, it's less. It's less, but it's always there. Correct. You're, you're aware of it all the time. Correct. A lot of people with pelvic veins notice that they, they get a lot of pain after intercourse. Is that something that would happen to you too? Not that I've noticed. All right. It, it seems like maybe the next day, but I wouldn't ever know what to put with what or what symptoms to say would go with what. I just know right. that because I had a hysterectomy, I know I have a vein in there. Otherwise, I would have never known that a vein existed in there or that the correlation between that and symptoms. Sounds pretty frustrating. It is very frustrating. Yeah. Um, what about your legs? Do you have any symptoms in your legs too? I have, um, I've always, I'm not, I guess I shouldn't say always, in the last five or ten years I've noticed um, pain in my feet. Pain I can't feet. stand very long ah. uh, without my feet hurting. Okay. So I, I've been wearing compression, I've been a good girl wearing compression stockings. Good for you. Um, because luckily we have, um, you know, I know about veins enough to know that we need some compression okay. um, from my mom. So it, it's, that does help. That makes a significant difference if I'm wearing compression all day. Uh, my feet don't hurt as much as when I don't wear them. All right. And what kind of compression are you wearing, Kelly? Graduated compression stockings that I get from a vein doctor. Okay. And, and what about wearing them when you're not standing? Do you need to do that? Oh, I wear them all day long. You wear them all day long. And I don't stand for a living. I mean, I'm up and down, computer, okay. sales, okay. in and out. So, but I'm always wearing them because if I don't, I, I pay for it at the end of the day. Oh, I, yeah, I understand that. A lot of our patients notice that when they wear the compression stockings, they just feel so much better. Light so, on your feet. Light on your feet. There you go. I like that. Um, I've, I've heard that a lot of times from people. They'll say, oh, my legs feel so much lighter. Um, and a lot of people say that they, they in general, feel less fatigued. Have you found that as, as well? Um, mostly it's, it, I pay more close attention just to, that I don't have pain in my feet at the end of the day. Okay. Now, after you realized that you had a vein issue, did you go and see a vein doctor? I did. I had them do an ultrasound. They, uh -huh. they suggested, let's do an ultrasound because we have to find out where it is. Mm -hmm. you know, and they can use films, but let's better to see a vein doctor who knows about vein ultrasounds. So let's do an ultrasound, and they figured out exactly where it is so that they can treat it. I bet you're really pretty excited at this point I, in time. I huh? am. I am. I'm excited to be done with it. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess the message really is that if you have pelvic pain or know that you have veins in your pelvis or you have symptoms in your legs that seem to get better with compression stockings, it would be really worthwhile to see a vein specialist. Absolutely. My, okay. my biggest thing in coming today was to make sure that women know that there is a, an option to have somebody right. help them. Right. They you no know, most people don't know that vein doctors exist number 1 right. and number 2 that they that it's not just your leg veins that 
if it's a you know anywhere we say down there <laughs> I, mean, I know that's silly but you know in, in any varicose veins anywhere a vein specialist can help you well you could be a walking commercial <laughs> for us thank you so much that is absolutely right and I see a lot of people who go from doctor to doctor to doctor and since this is a pretty specialized field that most physicians really have never gotten any education in this field and they don't have any training so you're absolutely right it's it's a great message to convey to all the women um, people who have had pregnancies and people who have not that if you do have these kind of symptoms in your pelvis or symptoms in your legs that seem to get better with walking or with compression stockings a vein specialist would be able to help you in most cases absolutely yeah Kelly, thank you so much for coming in to, to talk with us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And I'm sure that after you have your veins treated, you're going, going to be feeling a lot better. Thank you. Mm -hmm.